Hi, my beautiful Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, Cross Watches, Third Parties. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support to the channel. Anything you need to know is in the description box below, in the description box below, okay? Also, I want to thank my beautiful daughter for buying me these tarot cards. Aww. She bought me some new tarot cards. She's so sweet. She's in Las Vegas, Nevada, you know, staying up there, going to college. She's up there with her dad, so yeah. Big shout out to my baby, my baby girl, my big baby girl. So let's go ahead and get into this um, channel message. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, my beautiful Pisces. Pisces, what's the channel message? What's coming towards you, honey? What is coming towards my beautiful Pisces? Not all the cards are. This is weird. Because as I was picking up the cards, I heard big things popping and little things stopping. Big things popping and little things stopping. Hey, top of the deck. Once the cards fell down, this was the sun at the top. And then these are all the cards. And I don't know why I heard big things popping. Big things are popping, y'all. The little things stopping. What's going on? What was that about, Spirit? <laughs> big things are popping for y'all. Like, I feel like big things are happening. Like, there's a lot of big things that's, like, there could be, like, milestones, like, certain milestones that you're achieving, certain chapters that's being, you know, open, you know, new chapters that you're, you guys are opening now uh, in your life. But I am hearing big things popping and little things stopping, so... Yeah, I feel like there's something that you're doing now that is on a it's on a whole nother level. I feel like you guys are about to move to a whole nother level. I'm thinking that I'm just getting this energy where again with that six of wands, that ten of cups, that world, like I kind of feel like, yeah, I'm here. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you guys are on a new level. Okay. You may have closed some type of chapter, you're opening a new chapter, or you're opening yeah, it's like you're opening new doors, opening new chapters, yeah, stepping in new situations but yeah i just get this energy that there's some type of completion success happening in your life <sighs> you could be getting some type of recognitions hmm. what the hell is going on <laughs> we have the five of wands and we have the hierophant wow so this is about, yeah, five, five, the five of one. Oh, I was about to say change. This shit is crazy. Look at the death card. This is about change. I know that's right, spirit. Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. The Hierophant. Y'all see Roman numeral five is there. The five of one. Five, five. Right behind it is the death card. Big things popping and little things, I don't know what they say, stopping or dropping. Y'all know I butcher a song. But yeah, 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 I'm, I, yeah, changes, changes are happening. Five, 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 like changes are happening. Five, five, things are changing. Shit is changing around you. I feel like whatever and whoever is coming towards you, the five of wands speaks of drama. It speaks of chaos. It speaks of conflict, right? This could be inner or outer conflict. And then we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant speaks of consequences, repercussions. It speaks of um, conventional, right? Morals, values, things that are conventional, um, principles, order, laws, regulation, higher learning. Child, what the hell happening here? Because I just kind of feel like the five of wands with the damn hierophant is like there's multiple people in a situation that's this could be on something here, like on a with that saw the hierophant. So this could be something that has to do with like mediation. There could be some type of fight. Um, this could have to do with legal matters. What the hell going on, child? I don't know. 
We have the Queen of Wands coming out strong. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. I'm just saying, I really feel like if somebody's coming towards you with drama or chaos, bickery, bullshit, any type of conflict like that, just know, I feel like that shit's about to be put to a stop. I feel like there are certain rules, regulations, and laws or something here governing something that I feel like you, you're not going to have. It's just, I feel like you're protected. I feel like there's something about you being protected. Let me see. Tell me more. Knight of Cups. I know that's right. So what this is telling me, we're reading this past, present, future energy. Pisces, Queen of Wands, Knight of Cups energy. Quarren's just coming out here. Straight up, just nothing but quarrels. It's letting me know that whoever is coming towards you is somebody who fancied you a lot in the past. Fancy the fuck out of you, honey. I don't know why I'm hearing that. I see it's a bird right here. This is somebody that fancied you a lot. That's the first. Yeah. Hmm. Whoever this person that's coming into your energy, I do feel like they're bringing drama. I feel like they're bringing chaos. I feel like they're trying to bring conflict to your life in a situation. Um, they're fighting for something, maybe for some type of position or some type of, I don't know. Well, I was about to say legislation. You know, I don't know nothing about that stuff. But they're trying to fight for something. They, they, they are, they're definitely in survival mode. I'm here all my life. I had to fight. Somebody here is coming towards you. Like disturbing your peace, temperance in reverse. Okay, I feel like disturbing your peace, um, the peace that you did have before they came into your life. I just feel like this is somebody that is wanting a law. Like it's like I want some type of, I want something changed. Like this person wants something to change. They want something to change. What are you doing, Pisces? Is this about child support? Is this about legal matters? Is this about HOAs. I don't know. It's something where there's because in the hierophant there was two people and there was like a, a pope. So it's like somebody is governing something here. There is a higher this, whoever this person is coming towards you, they have to go through another. They have to go through someone to get to you or to make changes or to enforce some type of change. And this was somebody in the past who fancied you a lot. They fancied you um, they were so they were attracted to you. They desired you. Um, they even thought that they weren't on your level. I'm on a new level. This is somebody that didn't even thought that they were worthy of you. They didn't felt like you were like they. The biggest word here is fancy, and I don't know why I keep hearing this is somebody that fancy you. And I'm also being directed to the Jamie Fox show where the the lady name was Fancy and Jamie Fox Fancy Fancy, right? He really, really was smitten by the woman named Fancy. This person fancied the hell out of you. They thought you were so charming, so you ooh, sex appeal. You were just so handsome. You were so attractive. You were so gorgeous. You were so beautiful. You were succulent. You were this, you were that. This person really, really put you up there. Like they really fancied you. Physically, really, really fancied you too. Like attraction. Um they definitely like your style, your charisma. This is somebody that really, really had a strong crush on you. Okay. So let's see what's going on. You'll know who this person is. They could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. Or this person could be a Leo. I'm just saying Leo. <laughs> they could be a Leo, a Aries, or a Sagittarius person that, that was in your energy. Um, this person was trying to offer you love. They were trying to appeal to you in the past. Or they they were, yeah, they were trying to appeal to you. This is who this person is. Well, what the hell does that do anything? Come on, let's get to it. What's happening? No, the lovers. Ooh. I feel like in the current moment, we have the lovers here. This is a decision. A decision. Not a swords in reverse. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Hey. That's a child's song, honey. Well, I need to find that song. I'm on a new level. 
Um, I feel like in the current moment, this person is going to be trying to come towards you to offer. <laughs> this person is going to be coming towards you to offer you. This is going to be a love offer. There's going to be some type of kind gesture here. It's based off of, could be like a potential partnership, relationship, connection. This person is trying to offer you some type of romantic. This is a romantic gesture, or this could be a love offering. This person is trying to offer you some type of love offering. What's the outcome here? I feel like you're open. You're open to this. Ace of Swords. And the Six of Cups in reverse. With the Knight of Pentacles. So in the back of the deck is the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Oh, this person. Their overall energy of you is the Nine of Pentacles. Let me tell you something, y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This person is a looker themselves, or they could be very charming too, okay? I feel like both of you guys are genuinely charming. Okay, I feel like both of you guys are equally charming. You guys are two charming people. It's almost like I'm talking to two Pisces. Or you're two very charming people. Um, the overall energy that they have of you is a nine of pentacles with the two of cups. I feel like this person sees you as someone, again, who's very sophisticated, very elegant, um, again, they fancy you. This person sees you as someone who doesn't like, there's an energy of you don't need a man, you don't need a woman. So this person sees you as someone who doesn't need anyone, or they feel like you don't need their help. You don't need anything from them. So they do see you as this very, very sophisticated person. You're sophisticated. You're a sophisticated woman, sophisticated man. Um, there's an energy of, I don't need no man. I don't need no woman, right? Yeah, and they've kind of fancy that that's a turn on. That's like you you turn them on, whether you're a man and you can cook for yourself, you can clean, you can wash your clothes, you can do whatever it is that you you can, you know, you get shit done. You you have, you know, shit going on for yourself. This person does see you as very financially successful, financially free. Um, yeah. Well, the thing is, is that the Nine of Cups is an offer of love. So this person is going to try to offer you love. But with this Queen of Wands here, it's just it's giving me like, they're going to try to be kind. There's going to be a, a romantic gesture. And the lovers is a like maybe offer some type of relationship, connection, date. And it's... <laughs> Pisces, let's just keep it real. You're not. Fuck this person. Fuck this person. This person's not on your level. They're not on your level. They're just not on your level. That's why I was hearing that. This person's not on your level. I feel like allowing somebody like this to come into your life or come back into your life or allowing this person to come into your life, I do feel like this person is going through some type of arbitrary or whatever. They're going through something um, in their life. They really are. They're fighting for something in their life and they're going through something in their life, whether it's with you or outside of you. And I really feel like I don't think you want to be dealing with, with their issues. This person does come with a lot of like baggage. Like I feel like they are they have some type of struggle or they're dealing with things. They could be dealing with court cases, child support, issues like that, um, you know, legal situations, um, debt collection. They're dealing with their they got a lot of shit going on. I'm gonna be honest. And I feel like I kept hearing, I'm on a new level. Like Pisces, come on, baby. You are, you're in a different place in your life than this person is. Let's keep it real. I'm sorry to say it, but you're just in a different place in your life. You desire something differently. You want something different. You want something better for yourself. And I kind of feel like you and this person, the only thing that this person can offer you is possibly like, maybe like, you know, not even, they're not even coming up as the king of cups. So they could offer you some good sex, like some good passion. They could offer you a little bit of emotional reassurance, but that's it. Like, I don't feel like they could offer you even that because the six of cups is in reverse. So I do feel like it's not safe to love this person. I feel like this person doesn't have much to offer you. 
That's just the truth. They're already fighting with stuff and dealing with things that you don't even realize. And you you have passed all of that. It's almost like you've been there, you've done that, you've dealt with that stuff. You're not there. You're not dealing with things like that in your life anymore. So why open yourself up to this or why allow yourself to say like, this is the best that you can do? There's an energy of you like really trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt or trying to give this person an opportunity, trying to hear this person out in the Ace of Swords. I see that you're trying to do this. But the more you hear this person and listen to this person, you're going to realize that this person sounds just like something from your past. Or you're going to realize that it's not safe to love this person. It's true. You're going to realize that it's not safe to love this person. You're going to realize that, oh, no, no, no. It's not safe for me to offer love to this person. It's not safe for me to love this person. You are going to feel it. You are going to know it, right? And that hierophant is about telling you that you've been here. You've changed. You're not doing those same things. You're on a new fucking level. You're on a new fucking level, Pisces. You're on a new level, baby. I'm on a new level. Yeah, this person is not on your level. And that's okay. You're the queen of wands. They're the knight of cups. You're more sophisticated than they are. They're more like teenage energy, like lovey-dovey and stuff. But, you know, like, mm -mm. you're dealing with a lot of issues and struggles. And you have overcame a lot of that stuff. And I feel like you dealing with someone like this, they would just, you would have to... You would end up picking up, that would end up being your issues too. I promise you, that would end up being your issues too. I feel like, I love that you are seeing things clearly in the Ace of Swords. I love how you're receiving a download about this person. You know, the outcome is that you're going to receive a download about this masculine energy or this feminine energy because we have the lovers here. You are going to receive some type of download about this person um, in the near future as this person is trying to offer you love. And it's going to make so much sense to you. And you're going to have so much clarity that, oh, no, this is somebody from my past. This is a past person. And I'm on a new level. <laughs> yeah, I'm on a new level. OK, we're not saying that you shouldn't humble yourself. And we're not saying that you're above this person. But you are. Let's just call it what it is. You are. You have already been through this. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I've been there. I've done that. I'm not doing that again. I'm not learning that lesson again. I'm not allowing this to happen again. Okay. I just really feel like it's not about you not, not, it's not about you not giving this person an opportunity to love you. It's about you knowing better. You know better. Okay. It's about seeing the red flags with the ace of swords. It's about those downloads and those, that clarity. That wisdom, that knowledge, that comprehension, being logical, removing emotions from a situation sometimes and being logical and seeing things for what they are. And you are seeing it. <laughs> You're like, this person cannot. They, this person can't make you feel secure. You're making yourself feel secure. Every emotional connection doesn't have to be a fucking romantic connection. My God. My God. Every connection you meet don't have to be God. Damn, I'm like, why? Why do people get so infatuated with this stuff? Everybody you meet, you ain't got to fucking sleep with. Everybody you meet ain't going to be your... In that case, if you're going to get married, then the next person you meet, oh, I'm going to divorce this person and get married to you now. I'm going to divorce this person and get married to you now. We have a connection. I'm going to get married to you now. No, it doesn't work like that. So everybody you meet, you ain't got to show your teeth. Everybody you meet, you ain't got to damn lay down what you, you, you don't. You do have a decision here with the lovers. You have a decision in the matter, you know? Okay, you have a decision. I like that the lovers is here because in the current moment, Spirit is saying you have a decision to have a mental connection here, an emotional connection, a physical connection, a spiritual connection, whatever type of connection that you want to have here, you have that option to have that. It doesn't always have to be romantic. It always doesn't have to be physical. When we could we connect with people all the time. We connect with people over books that we read. We I connect with you guys, but that don't mean I'm trying to have have uh get all my subscribers and say, okay, we're gonna date, we're gonna be in a relationship. Yeah, we're you're just like me. No. <laughs> Hell my like, yeah, it's not it's not what that's about. Yeah, you're not you're not doing that anymore. I feel like this person is still doing that. I feel like they're still there. I feel like they don't still have that clarity. But I feel like you're going to give them that clarity. I feel like you're going to tell this person, everybody you meet, you don't have to sleep, you know, with, you know, every everything don't have, every time you connect with somebody, you don't have to say, oh, we should be in a relationship. 
Some things can be friendship. Some things can be cordial. Some things can be on a, a platonic. You know what I'm saying? We have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. You experience more loving your present moment. Yeah. So it's like, again, there's something about the past. The past is coming up here. Tell me more. Yeah, passion. Allow your heart to seek reconciliation. Someone from your past. Some of you guys, this is somebody from your past returning to your life. That may he put that may and see we have pay attention to the red flags. I just said that. I just said that. The ace of swords is you paying attention. You realizing that uh-uh, this is something like my past. This is like a past person. I remember this drama. I remember this chaos. I remember these conflicts. I remember these issues. Uh-uh. Hell to the now, now, now. Okay. Ooh. Look one. It wanted to come out. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Some of you guys, this is your past person coming to your life. This is a past person that may have even put you, like put you through a lot. For some of you guys, I feel like you went through a lot with this person. For some of you guys, you may have not went through a lot with this person, but I feel like they remind you of somebody that you that you had a lot of drama with, a lot of issues with. It's going. Y'all got to hear me out. Y'all got to follow me, baby. Follow me. I have met so many people that has reminded me of someone that I dated. And it's, 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 it's scary. They sound just alike. They talk, they act just like, they walk just like, like what? The thinking was just alike. The lifestyle. What? That is weird. Like spirit, what did you try? What are you trying to show me? What are you trying to tell me? Right? So this is, <laughs> it's like, you're, you're, it's like, uh, if this is like the ace of swords here. So if this is a new love, if this is someone new, they're just like that past person or there's familiar energy here. We're like, you know better. You know what you've been through with that person or you know what you've already experienced before, right? And you're like, no, I deserve so much. But I'm not there anymore. I'm not willing to accept certain things anymore. I know my worth. I know where I'm going now, right? I'm secure within myself now. You know, I know what I deserve in love. <sighs> Tell me more. Who the hell is this? Well, it's definitely a soulmate. <laughs> it's definitely a soulmate. Overall energy. You deserve love. You are lovable. You are lovable. Finances and career financial issues are affecting love life in the back. So this is really letting me know that this person is trying to offer passion to you. Um, they're feeling very passionate about you. They fancy you. But again, you guys, is that enough to sustain a relationship? Is that enough? Like, you know, compatibility is important. That mental um, connection is important. That spiritual connection is important. And that ace of sword is you saying, like, you, you're you're paying attention and you're saying, you know, you now know what you need. This nine of pentacles is giving me the energy that you know what it is that you need. You know what you need. Like, I feel like at this time in your life, you know what you need from a partner. You know what's not going to sustain a partnership. You know what's not going to be long lasting. You know what you want to commit to and what you don't want to commit to. You know what you're looking for your part from a partner and what you what you're not looking for from a partner. At this point, spirit is trying to get you to see something here about a, a person, and you have to make a decision. Like, does this person has certain qualities? Is this something that I'm willing to um, what deal with, or is this a, like, you know, is this something that I deserve? Is this something that I need? If it's not something that I need, then, you know, you know, it's also about, because we have, you deserve love, you are lovable. So it's also about not just what you want, but what do you need? It's like spirit is trying to get you to see not what you want, but what do you need in a relationship? What is it that you need? You know, what is, what is really a, a necessity? Not really like a want, but like, okay, Hey, I need this. I need this in order to survive, right? I need air. I need water. These are things that we need, right? So you know what it is that you need from a partner. I kind of feel like this person coming into your life, it could be someone from your past that you've already dealt with drama and issues from, or it could be someone that's reminding you of those same issues that came up with someone in a situation, right? That you've experienced, okay? And I really do feel like it's not for you to be in a relationship with this person, spirit is trying to, it's like, it's trying to help you to see and gain more 
clarity here in regards to what you're looking for, what you want, what you deserve, and what you need out of a partner. This is what this person's, um, this is what they're, this is what they're here for. Some of you guys are like, what's the purpose? What's the purpose of this connection? This is the purpose. Whoever this person is, their purpose is not for you to be in a relationship with them. Their purpose is for them to show you something that you do or you do not want in a partner. Some things that something that you need or you do not need out of a partnership. That's why this person is here. That's why this person is talking to you, is in your life, and or is returning to your life. But for some of you guys, I feel strongly that this is not somebody returning. It could be, but it is somebody that is just like the past person. Like, it's uncanny. It's like, wow, you remind me of someone that I once knew. See your face whenever I, I look at you. Yeah, I feel like this person is a straight mirror of the past. See, we have the lovers, and then we have reconciliation, someone from your past. I feel like this person is a mirror. They're mirroring somebody from the past that you've known. For some of you guys, this may be the actual past person. Um, but I just couldn't imagine that you would even entertain a past person that put you through so much. So I feel like this is someone that actually mirrors that person. I'm getting, now that I have all the cards, I'm seeing it. Like this is someone that mirrors somebody from your past and you know it because it says forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. I don't feel like it's for you to experience more love with this person, but it is teaching you that you definitely need to let go of something here um, in the past or stop being reminded by something here in your past. At the end of the day, it's a, it's a, it's a fucking lesson. It's teaching you something. It's teaching you something. Not to dwell on the past. Not to live in the past, not to keep bringing the past up, okay? Or guess what? You're going to keep attracting things like this past this past energy. This person is exactly like the past person. I hate to say it, but Spirit is saying you're, you, you are attracting that because you're the queen of wands. You're a very attractive energy, and you're attracting the past. You're attracting past energy. Like, you are attracting the past back into your life. You are attracting... The different people with the same fucking soul, the same spirit, the same energy back into your life because you're dwelling on the past, um, because you haven't forgiven the past, uh, or because you don't, you're not taking that, you know, like the clarity in in regards to what you need to know. You haven't, I'm getting you haven't learned from the past. All right. So for some of you guys, it's like, or they're trying to show you what you deserve. They're trying to get you to put, they're trying to put you on a new level. They're trying to get you to see something here. Okay. About what you, des what you deserve in a relationship. Like they're trying to get you to see what you deserve too. Pisces, come on, baby. This is somebody that fancies you because they didn't thought that they were, that you were, that they were on your level. So that's letting me know you really need to know who the fuck you are and you don't need to forget who the fuck you are. What's this person's love messages to you? Don't forget who the fuck you are, Pisces, okay? I feel like Spirit is trying to let you know that you're above this. I hate to say it, but like, not, not somebody else, but you really are. You're above this. Yeah, hate is such a strong word. Like, yeah, I'm telling you, like, there was a lot of hate. There was a lot of drama. There was a lot of chaos, like, in this energy here with your past person or with this person, okay? Or this person that is familiar to your past person. There's a lot of hate, a lot of anger, or a lot of like resentment here that you're holding on to about the past. Yeah, we have, I don't feel the same way. Again, this is speaking of negative feelings, negative emotions, also not feeling safe with someone in love. And then we have, I can't be with you. I'm telling you right now, I can't let go. Spirit is trying to warn you. We have, I just need time to myself. Spirit is trying to warn you that whoever this person that's coming into your life, they're just like the past person. Um, they are someone that is going to 
constantly like try to charm you, um, maybe even offer you love or in love offering. They're going to be showing it, but I don't feel like this is somebody that's never going to give you a committed relationship. I can't be with you um, because honestly, they don't see your worth in that way. Uh, they may see the physical, they fancy you in that way, or they see that you, <laughs> this is weird for someone to see these things about you, but still not like, it's crazy how someone can see things about you, but still not want to be with you. Right. Um, or still not take you seriously. This is someone that doesn't take you seriously. Yeah. This person is not taking you seriously and they're saying, I can't be with you. And I mean that in itself, but then they don't want to let you go. It's like, this is somebody that wants to have you when they're convenient, like when you're convenient to them and you deserve better than that is what spirit is saying. This is somebody that wants you when it's convenient. So what do you call those people? Like an escort? Like then get you an escort, hire you an escort. This is somebody that wants someone on their arm when it's convenient to them, when it's convenient to them. Like I want you around, I want you on my arm when it's convenient for me. OK, maybe when I when I go to a certain type of event or I go around a certain type of people, that's the energy I'm getting about this person. And I feel like I'm not sure if you're going to catch on to this or not, but I just kind of really feel like the outcome of the situation is that you're going to realize with that ace of swords, you're going to have this download. You're going to have this aha moment. You're going to have this type of clarity and you're going to realize that, yeah, it's not safe to love this person. And you're going to realize that this is a soulmate connection, but this person is supposed to be coming into your life to teach you that you deserve better, that you deserve more, okay? To put you on a new level. Some of you guys on a new level. You're on a new level. Like, I hate to say it, like, you are, like, you're, you're, you deserve better. So I hate to be honest, hate is such a strong word. <laughs> Y'all, this is someone that low key is like, be careful because there's people that, that date you, but they low-key hate you, okay? They low-key hate you. They hate you for what you've accomplished. They hate you for what you have. They hate you for your confidence. They hate that they're not as confident as you are. Be careful with this type of energy. Um, this is the type of energy I'm seeing. There's more to this story. There's more to this story. I'm just giving you the short thing that I'm seeing here, right? I do not feel like you guys are going to end up having, like, some of you guys, if you stick with this person and you stay with this person for a long time and you try to make this relationship work behind the deck, I feel like this relationship is not going to end up working. Oh, gosh, look at all this. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, gosh. Eight of Pentacles, three of Pentacles in reverse, seven of Pentacles, and eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is going to go bad. I feel like this relationship is not going to end up working. I feel like you could, there's somebody that could lose their career, or their job over this. Um, Cause at first you were independent, you were successful, but now it's almost like you're like, it's like struggling and trying to, it's just not going to go good. I'm getting this energy that um, it's not going to be successful. It's not going to work out. Like this, this whole connection that you have with this person, it's not going to be successful and it's not going to last. Um, it could end up in court. It could end up in money situation, arbitrary shit like that. Um, it could end up with you losing your job or going bankrupt or, um, this, this person losing their job or affecting your career or say if things get real chaotic with the five of wands and dramatic and crazy, you could end up losing some type of career finances, job titles. Um, you know, catch a felony charge, shit like that. Shit could go really, really like left. Um, is what I'm seeing. But make no mistakes, they're charming as hell. This person is very charming. Very, very charming. <laughs> but the outcome of the situation is I do not feel like because they said I don't feel the same way. This connection is not based off of, I don't want to dog it too much. It almost feels like it's like the connection is there. 
But with any connection, it's what you make of it. It's what you want it to be. And this person wants this to be something that's convenient for them. It, it, it just doesn't give me that it will be based off of love. <laughs> like, I'm not getting that. This connection is going to be based off of love. I'm sorry. And that's why they're saying you deserve love. You deserve love. You are lovable. I'm sorry. Like, you're ending your like, And then we have finances and career. Financial issues are affecting your love, right? Please don't be with someone based off of their money and finances. Do not get with someone based off their money and finances, um, or at least whoever this person is. If you try to go with this person based off of what they have and their money or finances, or because you feel like you will be secure, or because you feel like, <sighs> I can guarantee you, you're not going to feel loved by this person. I don't feel the same way. You're not going to feel the love in this connection or this relationship. And for some of you guys, they per this person might string you along for a very long time, but I can't be with you. But then at the same time, they don't want to let you go. You deserve better than that, Pisces. Okay? Spirit is trying to put you on to, Spirit is trying to put you onto a new level. They're trying to put you on bigger and better things. They're trying to move you forward towards something that's even better. And that's what I'm seeing here, Pisces. So please pay attention. Um, when those downloads come, pay attention. When you see certain things that are reminding you of something in the past about this person, pay attention. There's something that needs to be learned or a lesson or something that needs to be reflected on and you need to see something here. And it's almost like you're, you're, this is the truth. Um, trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Trust what someone is saying to you and what they're showing to you, okay? I hope this helps and assist you in some way.